I'll give you guys a short overview of your choices. You then will go into the survey and figure out what's gonna be the best use of your time. Once I get your info, then we'll be able to figure out what the geography of the room is gonna be. By having access to lots of different sources of data, I'm able to set students up with learning situations in which no student feels like they are over-challenged or feels like they're way ahead and there's nothing of value. In short, the student's time has purpose and allows them to be able to reach mastery. Here at Summit, we serve a wide range of students and we want to make sure that the expectations are exactly the same for students regardless of their background or prior preparation. In order for us to be effective educators, we need to see real-time data to ensure that the way that I am spending my time as a teacher is actually meeting the goals of all the kids that are in my classroom. So in terms of choices, and this has a lot to do with the survey I sent out yesterday around office hours, about half of you said that you wanted a lesson on skills. I do remember my own high school experience. If I was ahead, I'm thinking to myself, how am I gonna kill 55 minutes? And if I was behind, I felt frustrated and I felt like I was wasting my time because I wasn't getting the support or the help I needed. So a survey can give you really valuable information about what those needs are so you can meet them. You guys can go ahead and go into your Chromebooks, go to your email, and then there is the day seven survey. At the beginning of every class, we take a survey and it just helps us determine where we are in the project. And then he'll set up workshops and places for people to go based on where they are on the survey. It could be a Google survey or a quick thumbs up, thumbs down to a mini quiz to ensure that we actually know what our kids need that day and that we are giving them exactly what they need. You are going to write three different facts that you could include in an introduction paragraph for this lab report. You guys have two minutes and 30 seconds to come up with three things. Pass those sheet of papers forward knowing where every single student is at all times in the day allows me to deliver the support that each child needs. Some of the ways that I build that into my classroom are by doing pre-assessments in class. So the warm-up will be a written activity that the students can fill out and then I can just differentiate the class based on those stacks of paper. So if your name is in a gray box, I would like to guide you through an annotation where you check yourself to see if you have all the information required to get a seven. Can I have you guys move now? The teachers here, they always know where you're at, so I think it's a great thing that they could like constantly see what your grades you're at, what you're struggling with. If you need like help with a specific grade, they could help you with that. We have an online platform where all of the curriculum lives and where students take assessments that show their mastery. It also gives the same data to their teachers. And so the teachers can use the platform to make decisions about how they want to use their instructional time. Go ahead and open your computer. There's tons of other readings that we uploaded into the PLP. They're based on your reading level. PLP stands for Personalized Learning Plan, and the PLP tool is the technology platform that students are using to learn content, to get feedback, and to complete work. So you are ready for the level five, are comparing and contrasting. Students and teachers have access to the same Google documents, so everything is real time. And the POP is where we are able to see our progress and our grades. Because I'm able to request feedback, I'm able to understand what I need to do in order to improve my grade. And I'm also able to see where I'm going to be off track and like where I need to do in order to be more on top of my work. I'm able to know where they are and further I can deliver that message about how they're doing in class, what they need to work on so much more quickly than I could before the use of the plan. With all these different data streams that I've got coming in, whether it's the survey or a PLP, I've got access to information that allows me to set students up with the learning situations, with the sorts of choices that they need to make in order to get a first class education. So I think the most important thing that we do here is to ensure that our teaching is personalized to really build outcomes that are appropriate to your learners and create an action plan where your feedback is meeting them where they are at and pushing them to where they need to go. Bye guys, bye. Thank you. Bye.